not good. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today your girl is here with a rant review that you guys requested after my wrap up that involved this book. So it is Tantalize by Cynthia Lightich Smith. Let's just get into it because I have a lot of feelings towards this book. So without further ado, let us get started. I ended up giving this a 1.5 out of five stars. 0.5 for how ridiculous this book was. So this book follows Quincy, who after the death of her parents, she is now an orphan, and she decides that she is going to reopen her family's restaurant, but with a new theme. That theme being vampires. So we follow Quincy on this quest for reopening this restaurant. And then we also have the storyline about how her best friend, maybe boyfriend, we're not really sure about that whole situation, is a hybrid half-human, half-werewolf who is almost at the age where he is going to have to leave her to find a pack of his own. So, you know, obviously this is a very, very stressful situation that Quincy finds herself in. And then the chef of her vampire family restaurant is found dead by what appears to be a were-animal attack. Dun, dun, dun! So this means that Quincy must find a replacement chef in a very short amount of time and teach him to be the vampire king she has always dreamed of for her vampire family restaurant. The next day, mysterious Brad shows up on the doorstep saying that her good old Uncle D hired him without consulting anybody, especially not her. And that means everything is going to be okay because now mysterious Brad is here and he is a vampire king. So obviously she instantly trusts him and everything that he says and thus begins the seduction of the underage girl. So that's the synopsis for this book. <laughs> it was um not good. Quincy was the worst character in the entire world. She was the most annoying, most stupid person ever written into a book. She's supposed to be a senior in high school, but she's trying to act like an adult, but she spends most of her time acting like she's five years old. She spends three quarters of this book drunk, which, hello, she's 16, so I'm not really sure why she's drinking all this wine, but it's fine. So most of her time is spent being drunk, which leads her to making really dumb decisions for the majority of this book. Not the majority, for the entirety of this book. She makes stupid decisions left, right, and center, and then she acts so surprised when things fall apart around her. And then, apparently, she's in the next room when her very, 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 very good friend, the chef, is brutally murdered. And she hears absolutely nothing and has no idea that it's happening. But then she, when she walks into the kitchen, there's shit everywhere. So he obviously put up a fight. There's blood everywhere. There's pans, pots, you know, shit everywhere. But you heard nothing? Really, Quincy? Really? And then she just goes about her day like nothing happened. She's just like, oh yeah, he's dead. But I'm upset about it because he was like a really, 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 really really close family friend. But oh my god, Brad's here, so we're fine! I'm just like mucho confuso about that whole situation because if he's such a good friend of yours, you would think you would be upset and you would be like, you know, mourning his loss, but then mysterious Brad shows up and she's like, he is my light and my fire and I love him so much. But then on the other flip of the Quincy Catastrophe coin, um, she spends most of the book just complaining about how her best friend Maybe boyfriend is still not 100% sure about that situation. Kieran, the hybrid half werewolf, half human, won't hold her hand. It really is a tragic event in her life because he won't hold her dang hand. How is she supposed to know if they're boyfriend and girlfriend if he won't hold her hand? Maybe that's the hint, bitch. Maybe that's the hint. She literally goes on for half of the damn book complaining about how he's gonna leave her and how they're supposed to be together forever, but how are they gonna be together once he goes off to his wolf pack and leaves her all alone? Oh my goodness, life is so hard. But then Brad shows up and everything's fine because he's mysterious and sexy and he's like 26 and she's like 16, but that's okay because he's mysterious. 
mysterious. But like I said, then Brad shows up. And so therefore, Kieran, the best friend, maybe boyfriend, not sure on that situation, still hybrid, half werewolf, half human, lover of her life, is now suddenly a very dangerous wolf who attacked the chef, obviously it was him, and therefore he's very dangerous and needs to stay away from her. But bitch, you just went on and on and on and on and on and on about how much you loved him, so what- what is the truth here? Like, girl, just make up your mind. Is he your lover? Is he your best friend? Or is he a scary wolf man? Fucking figure it out. That's all I'm saying. It's just- it was annoying. And then my final point for this very ranty, makes no sense review because I'm just heated now at this point. What the fuck was that world building? What was it? Non-existent, that's what it was. You literally get thrown into this world where apparently humans know that vampires and werewolves and other were beasts exist, but we have no idea how they found out or why they found out what they feel about all these creatures being around, wandering the streets like normal human beings. And also, why are there were-possums? Who thought this was a good idea? Like, was she just sitting there writing and she was like, fucking were-possums. Genius, bestseller, New York Times, we here for this shit. Ugh, I don't understand. Honestly, just for half of this book, I had no idea what was going on, where the story was going, and then all of a sudden, she's in a basement drugged being raped by Brad the vampire. Th that was the end. What? Ah! That's it. That was the book. It was literally death by werebeast. Brad shows up drugged and raped in a basement. Werepossums. If I knew how to edit or drop the mic, I'd drop the mic right now. Yeah, 1.5 out of 5 stars, 0.5 just for the absurdity of this book, so. Don't read it. Save your time. Or read it. And giggle? I don't know. Just... It was a lot. All right, guys, that was the rant review for Tantalize. Probably made no sense. I have a lot of feelings still on this book, but your girl is sweating because she is just done with this book so let me know down below if you've read it and what you thought of it and i'll see you all in my next video goodbye <laughs>